everybody, Fiber Spider back again with another origami tutorial for you. And today we're going to be making paper cranes. Now there's an old Japanese legend that if you make a thousand cranes within one year, you get a wish. It could be for long life or good luck, you know, and they're really quite easy and fun to make and they're beautiful. And what you can also do is you can string these up through the base there, through the top there, and you can make really neat mobiles. I've done it quite a few times myself, and I absolutely love this design. So we are going to get started. Now I am using origami paper, and today we're going to make a red one, sort of like a phoenix. All right, so without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, so if you're using origami paper, you're going to want to start with the white side up. That is, of course, if you want your crane to be colored on the outside. So starting with the white side up, we're going to fold it in half to make a rectangle. And then open it up and then turn it and then fold it in half into a rectangle again and we're actually gonna be making the bird base which we did in my last tutorial video and then open it up flip it over and we're going to be making triangles. So fold it in half from bottom to top to make a triangle. Open it up, turn, and then another triangle. There we go. Open it up. Pop the center up. There we go. And then folding along the creases, we're going to make the bird base. Like so. Let me show you that a little bit slower. So basically these mountain folds are going to be the top ridges. All right, so this is the, the bird base and we shall continue. Okay, so from here, we're gonna be working with the, the front flaps and then we'll be working with the back flaps. So with just the front flaps, these two in front, going to fold this bottom edge to the center, bottom edge to the center to create sort of like a kite. So I get that point nice and pointy, like so. And then the other front flap to the center. I find it helps if you turn your work to sort of orient yourself a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so turn your work over and do the same thing with the other flaps. Okie doke. Now from here, I find that it helps to have sort of a preliminary fold. So from this point to this point, fold the top down. Open it up, 
turn it over and do the same thing. Okie doke. Now, next part is a little bit weird, but it works. So you open up your flaps and then taking just this top layer, open it up, utilizing this crease here, open it up. And then we're going to be folding along this crease here, the opposite way that it was before. So, and then utilizing this crease, as is. So flatten it down. And then on the other side, there we go. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Turn it over, open up your flaps, lift up just that top layer, and use this crease here to help you. Pinch it down, use your creases. And there you are. And believe it or not, we are pretty close to being finished. All right. Okay, so with this piece now, again, we still have front flaps and back flaps. And we're just gonna be working with the front flaps for now. So take the first front flap and again, we're going to again do, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about the exact terminology, but I'm going to call it a kite fold. Um, so this edge to this center, and then this edge to the center with just the front flaps. Okay, so we got one, and then just going to fold this front flap down. Okay, so we have our first two folded to the center and then turn the work over and do the same thing with what are now the front flaps. They were the back flaps, now they are the front flaps. So let's do that with these two. Kite fold. And then the other one, fold it down. Okay, so believe it or not, these two down here, one's going to be the tail, the other one's going to be the head and the neck, and then up here we have the wings. So now it really doesn't matter which is which, but going to take one of our, our legs, if you will, and then fold it up like so, and then unfold it. Turn it over and do the same fold. Doesn't have to be exact because you can adjust it later. And then unfold. And now open this up and we're going to fold up and in along this crease here that we just made. So folding it up and then pinching it closed. along that crease, 
And if you want to have it down a little bit more or up a little bit more, that's totally up to you. And so one is done. So let's do the other side. So again, folding it up at an angle and then down and then up and down. And they can be symmetrical or asymmetrical, totally up to you. Open up, fold it on up, and close. All right, so. Now you want to decide which one you want to be the head and which one the tail. I think I want this one here to be the head. So I'm going to do something very similar, similarly, excuse me. So just taking a little bit from the top and fold it down. And then open. And then opening the, the neck, if you will, we're going to sort of fold this down and again pinch, just like we did before. So fold it down and then pinch. And there's the head. Now you could have folded it once and then twice, you know, going back along the same fold. Sometimes it's necessary, sometimes I don't think so. And there you have your tail and your head. Now, last but not least, we get to open up the wings and let our crane soar. So, grabbing your wings. Now you wanna do this carefully. Pull apart your wings. Do this gingerly. and the back of the body is going to puff out a little bit. Sometimes it works better than others, but the idea is to sort of have a, a puffy, poofy body there in the center, and then pinch along the sides to sort of give it some definition. And then you can curl your wings a little bit if you like the style of that. I personally do. I think it looks really nice. Just curling your wings just a little bit. And there you go. A finished origami crane. All right, my dears, so that concludes my origami crane tutorial. I really hope you liked it and that you found it easy enough to follow along and inspired you to perhaps make a thousand of your own so that you too can get your own wish. Yeah, they're very pretty, they're very decorative, and I really like them. I hope you did too, and if you did, give a little thumbs up button down below. You know I appreciate your appreciation. And based on the way things are going, I think that I would like to continue doing this origami tutorial series over time. And I can't thank you enough for your continued support and encouragement. Thank you very much. So until next time, you know what to do. I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay folding, stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.